Yo, what is good everyone? It is ZigZag here and welcome back to GeoGuessr Explain, my second channel where I explain rounds to you. And today we're doing some pro GeoGuessr coaching with my good friend, Big Hosk. Welcome back to the channel, my friend. What's good? What's good? What's good? Thank you. Thank you. Always a pleasure to be on. And uh, yeah, so the menu for today is we're going to be playing 30 second rounds on Diverse World and we will be uh, explaining our thought processes. And uh, particularly at the end of the round, I will be coaching Hosk on how he could have done better. Um, and that is about it. So, uh, yeah, I say let's get straight into things here, Hosk. And uh, best of luck. All right, let's go. Thank you. So, guys, he can no longer hear us. I'm playing push to talk. And uh, let's just get straight into this first one here. See if we can uh, make some nice guesses. Okay, so first one, we see a wooden pole here. I immediately thought this might be South Brazil. Because the coverage and everything doesn't quite feel like... Uh, yeah, it doesn't quite feel like Uruguay. We also have the Waikou car here, which is not Uruguayan. Now, I do can still consider other countries possible here. So, and I'm just trying to work out whether this is indeed wooden. I think so. So I would go South Brazil here. Also, the clear satellite dish feels really good. And I feel like this kind of region is actually working quite nicely. So let's go like that here. And okay, we actually get a really nice okay. guess there. But a good one from Hosk as well. So there we go, Hosk. Not too oh, bad there. Oh, I just saw your <laughs> guess. <laughs> Actually, so good job on getting the Brazil there. Um, so do you have any like questions about this round? We'll just open it up and have a look. Yeah, yeah. So So what stood out to you here? Stood out to me uh, white car and short antenna. Yeah, yeah. That initially come Very common um, in Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you think South America. Mm -hmm. The the thing that kind of threw me were the trees to mm. the, to, um, I mean, just like yeah, the trees generally speaking, and the countryside. Like, if if I didn't see the car, and if there wasn't those kind of like stick fences that mm -hmm. are like quite common in South America. Yeah, I probably would have been tempted to think something like, Eswatini. Mm, true, true. I could definitely see that for sure. As in, just like the countryside and like the climate. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So yeah, you're right, you're right. The stick fences definitely do help not to go South Africa there, but yeah. Um, okay, so one thing I thought of here, what, the, probably the most useful thing is the house to the south there. So yep. it had out, out the front a clear satellite dish, which is like something you more, mostly see in like Brazil and like Indonesia, maybe Malaysia too, right. I think. But yeah, okay. definitely, definitely only in a few countries you see clear satellite dishes like that. And then I think this pole next to us is wooden. Let's move over to it. Yeah, it's wooden. Yeah. And wooden poles are really common in the south of Brazil, whereas the rest yeah. of it kind of uses those typical Brazilian, yeah, Brazilian concrete poles. ones. So yeah. if it kind of gives you like almost a Uruguay vibe in terms of the climate and you see a wooden pole, then yeah, it's a good idea. Mm. Okay, so, yeah, I see that. I see that. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, should we head through to the next round? Yeah, let's do it, man. Brazil's such a sting. You lose so many points so quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, the 24K, <laughs> not quite possible anymore, yeah. but uh, we can at least get a 23 or something, you know? <laughs> You're still on, though. You're still on. That is true. That's true. Okay, let's, uh, let's head through to the next round. All right, let's do it. Okay, so what are we going to get next here? Looking like some Japan action here with the low camera. Pretty typical of that area, right? Uh, so let's see what we got here. So we appear to have two uh, vertical um, kind of... Uh, plaques on the pole which i think two vertical plaques you can t tend to see like around here this region and um, you can also see it here and they're down south as well so definitely definitely those kind of areas what i'm thinking of here the really tall trees and everything do kind of make me think this might be like on shikoku or something like that but i didn't really get time to fully make up my mind here so we'll see and it was actually further towards kyoto there good guess from hosk all right so um hosk what are you thinking here what are you thinking here Man, Japan. Japan yeah. was my homework last time. Yeah, true. It was. And, it was. And I didn't do any homework. I'm <laughs> oh, gonna no. be honest. I'm gonna be honest, teacher. <laughs> oh no, this is disastrous. I think, um, I, I think it was clear that it was like a bit more temperament. Like it wasn't like it wasn't didn't look cold in north. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, so hence why I guess so much so much further south mm -hmm, than mm -hmm. it was. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I always struggle with Japan, and I, it's funny. I remember you told me one like crazy meta for um. <laughs> the Yamaguchi yellow guardrails was yeah, that one? <laughs> the Yamaguchi yellow guardrails, and yeah. I was playing around with my friends, and I got them, and I got like a like a four nine k, and they're like, "How the heck did you pull that?" <laughs> <laughs> Yamaguchi yellow guardrail matter. What can I say, mate? Yeah, all right, all right, all right. So there are some things here, I believe. Um, okay. So if we open up the location, the poles seem to have these kind of yellow arrows near the top of them. Do you see those yellow things on the pole? Yeah, oh, they're like not the even clear... no, they're not even the proper arrows actually. So never mind. That, okay. th scrap that. 
but it is definitely true that we should have a certain kind of pole top here. So obviously the two the two uh, white plaques on the pole that we saw, they're helpful, but only for general region. Uh, but I'm just trying to see if I can see one. We couldn't actually maybe see it that clearly, but these kind of like, um, people can see it on my screen, it's kind of like a single bars on the top of the pole that are just kind of thin bar on the top. Yeah, they're yeah. quite common in both Kyushu, the South Island, and around Kyoto. So okay. I, I don't think like these are like the best example because they kind of like hooked with an L shape. So it's not completely typical or like not, not that unique, I think. But okay, I think we can actually see one down here. Uh, but generally speaking, you might see ones like this with the single. Yeah. So if you go a bit down the road, you can see them. It's okay. Yeah, you, like can, you can watch the video back, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Up north. That's right. Um, but yeah. Um, also for people also across the road there, like you can see these kind of like a uh, silver, f silver fern. I forgot what they're called silver weed. Um, like long pieces of grass with the kind of silvery flower at the top. Yeah. They're yep. all, all on the kind of West side of the road here. They're really common in the South of Japan. Uh, but you can see them pretty far north as well. So it's not the most consistent meta, just something yeah, that's okay. kind of considered considered more so south. So, yeah, difficult one there. Obviously, neither has had a particularly good guess. But, uh, yeah, let's head through to the next one, shall we? Also, could you uh, uh, just, just meet yourself, Hoska, during the uh, round? That's all right. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. We'll do. All right, let's go. And heading through here again. And what do we have here? A bit more Japan action. So let's see if we can make it happen. Almost felt like we might have a Yamaguchi yellow guardrail, but we don't here. Lots of snow poles here. So maybe this is a bit further north for that reason. We do have yellow stripes here on the poles though. And that is not found like north of this line. I feel like Sendai maybe is like the furthest north you'd see it. But I feel like it is kind of north here. So I was thinking like Yamagata maybe. Um, but it, this could as easily be Shikoku where I clicked last time. I'm just thinking like it's, uh, yeah, maybe it is down there again. I'm not sure. Okay, it was actually pretty far north there. So even north of Sendai, and yeah, he goes the same location. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty similar looking round, eh, Oscar? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, what the heck? <laughs> Honestly, nothing there, apart from the fact that um, I like kind of got a bit more of a north vibe off the vegetation. There is also the fact that we had yellow bands on the um, guardrail kind of, uh, what would you say, like the guardrail posts. Mm. Uh, but that is, that's... Like, that's, like, the furthest north you can possibly find them. They're actually much more common where you clicked. But, yeah. Yeah, right, okay. I mean, yeah, that's, that's just that's just Japan in a nutshell. Most of them are pretty yeah, inconsistent at best, so... Japan, man. Japan's so tough. It is, it is. Oh, well, we, ha we were talking about Japan last time. Now we got two in a row. It's definitely oh, a country man. for learning, isn't it? It's a weakness. <laughs> it's a weakness. <laughs> that's for sure. All right, let's head through to the next one. All right, let's do it. Okay, I'll see how we go here. Gonna take a swig of water. Okay, this is a pretty easy Eswatini, fortunately. So, Eswatini, guessing. We have the white car here, obviously. Um, we have these, like, tabletop mountains, which you see so often in Eswatini. When you kind of get this kind of, like, colder-looking climate, do you see what I mean, where it's, like, a bit wet in the soil, like, very much, like, pale-looking vegetation here, like it was almost, like, very high altitude. Obviously, the whole country is, but I tend to like to click, like, really middle here, or maybe it's like somewhere along this road as well. But I feel like this is like really close to where I clicked here. Maybe on some side road. And okay, it was one of the middle roads there indeed. Oh, big ask. Yes, what a guess, baby. <laughs> Look at that. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so what was your thought process there for getting, uh, for getting Lesotho? And obviously, nice guess as well. Thank you, thank you. Wow, I can't believe this is A5. I. Yeah, wow. Um... True. It looks yeah. like it was going to be a side road, but it was just one yeah. of the main highways. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Um, I think I think the the mountains definitely look a lot like a lot more African than say like South American. Um, definitely the white car. Um, I didn't even look for the sun. I don't know. I just got a massive like yeah. Southern African vibe off of it, and yeah. then just because of like Lesotho's geography, I just thought it fit best, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. considering. Like just like the rolling mountains. Not everywhere great you look, guess. So, great yeah. guess. I would say there that it kind of had like a cold vibe as I was explaining during the round. So I think that's like often a good uh, sign to click middle, like we did, um, because it seems to be like kind of that higher altitude, kind of up in the mountains area, that where it kind of gets like kind of the vegetation feels. It's not as sunny, and the vegetation feels a bit colder and that kind of thing. But okay, let's head through to the next one, shall we? All right, let's do it. Let's, let's do that. Okay. Next round here. When we 
face some more Japan. I think it's actually Korea, right? Yeah, so as you guys probably know, the Korean, um, the Korean, the kind of sticker on the pole, it doesn't go all the way down to the ground, and it is uh, diagonally shaped. So, uh, let's see here. It's very snowy. We have the white car. It's interesting. I'm not really sure where this is. I kind of thought this might be further towards Seoul. It's a 06 one. Yeah, I'm never really too sure with these ones. I'm going to go near Seoul on this occasion. Can I find Korea in time? Only just. Let's go like that. And okay, well, southwest there, he goes middle as well. So there we go. We don't quite manage our 23k, unfortunately. There we go, Hosk. Not a bad effort there. Thank you, thank you. So always get in the country there, which is very solid. And we just yeah. had some bigger ones, so that was always going to be kind of a, a difficult a difficult one to get 24k on, I think. Have you got any tips for South Korea? Mm. Just like generally speaking? Because I always find myself guessing in a pretty similar spot to where I did. Normally maybe a slightly more west like hedging in between yeah. like in between like the major cities. I normally just end up guessing central no matter what whenever I recognize um, South Korea. Have you got okay. any tips? Yeah, so South Korea is one of my weakest countries. Nevertheless, there are still certain areas where you can, where you can get quite nicely. So it, like here... This was kind of difficult because of winter coverage, but a lot of the time around Mokpo, which is just south of here, it's like kind of a rolling landscape without too many mountains, and it's very green, summery coverage a lot of the time. Um, lots of agriculture down there. So that's that's a good okay. tip for there. Lots of rice being grown. Then down south in Jeju Island, you have black rock walls everywhere. It's very volcanic, so I feel like that, once you know that, like half the island is literally covered in volcanic black rock walls. So you can always get there. Um, apart from that... I would say, like, I think phone codes are really quite useful, and apart from that, I really don't know. Yeah. Yeah. There, there okay. are some, like, small metas for certain cities. I think, um, in... Now, what is it? In the city called... Which one is it down here? Asan, which is, like, a bit south of... A uh, bit, bit south of... Uh, near Sejong, northwest of Sejong. I'm pretty sure yep. Asan is the only city where there's no English writing, English lettering on the, um... On the house signs. Oh, okay. Unless I'm thinking of Unsun. It, it might actually be one of the... I know it's somewhere near Seoul. Somewhere just south of Seoul, one of those cities. So, I mean, that's a very, like... Yeah, very, very unique. Niche. And then also there's, like, the Pohang Google car, which has, like, a little camera on the back. Uh, you can also find <laughs> okay. that near Seoul. So, yeah, there's a few little things, but ultimately, like, Japan's so much easier these days. Um, yeah, but okay. But also requires... But both require a lot of effort to get good at, I feel. Yeah, right. Wow. Tricky, tricky countries. I feel like, like you said, like consistently can always get the country. The only way I ever score high in a country is if I get lucky. Or, or like just small. get a good vibe. Yeah, yeah or a small country. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's head through to another, shall we? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So that was obviously uh, a decent game there by all by all accounts, but uh, we can definitely do better. And I think Kosk played nicely, um, but uh, heavily... East Asian there, which is not my strongest region. Okay, here we have some Southern Pines, I would say. So that's obviously the first thing to bear in mind. Southern Pines, they're kind of... I feel like the... Um, I feel like what I've heard is the uh, leaves don't... They kind of... Uh, don't go down to the ground. They kind of more start like on this kind of height here. Now, the problem is that I can actually still see this being quite a bit further north. Reason being... Do we have front plates here? Hard to tell. I think I just have to go like Virginia or something here because I kind of got like a... Kind of a north vibe, but I mean, north-ish vibe for the south. And oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we could be on. Okay, that's a really nice guess, Hosk. Well done there. Um, <laughs> yeah, we had southern pines. Um, did you did you notice those? Nah, not at all. Honestly, just got lucky. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> so southern pines, it's like a pine tree. Um, I would honestly just suggest clicking around the south after this video. And homework for you guys as well, who are worse at the US at the moment. Find, find what I mean by the Southern Pine, because Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, Georgia, South Carolina, even Florida, so many of them everywhere. Then okay. if you look at the kind of pine trees that you would get up north, one, there are less pine trees, and two, they definitely have a different feel. And once you can recognize those, you cut the US in half, basically, because Southern Pines don't really go for, further north than Virginia or Kentucky, so yeah. Oh yeah, nice. I can see it. I just look up a photo of it and I can see them like off behind the um off behind the diner. That's right. Like, yeah, yeah, that's where they really? were. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty much the main tip there. Uh, I kind of was uh, too focused on that and didn't really I mean, but I still feel like um like uh, yeah, this whole 
region's pretty difficult, so just a really nice pong from you. And uh, Thank you. The problem is, like, yeah, I hedge and I get 690 kilometers away, which is pretty <laughs> average, but yeah. That's yeah. All right, yeah, let's yeah. Uh, head through to the next. Okay, what are we going to get now, guys? Oh, a bit more East Asia action this time. Okay, we've had all three types of Asian poles. So this is the third type. This is the Taiwanese type that goes down to the, down to the ground. Taiwan is also a country, keep this in mind, that has these white outer lines quite often. And yeah, you see this blue goo cart fairly often as well here. I have a feeling that he's going to get closer than me here because I suck at this country. Ooh, huge city there. I mean, a huge apartment building. It's kind of also a bit elevated, so I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Maybe we're a bit like in this kind of region where it, like, like it's the edge is close to the hills or something. Okay, well, it's just south there. Yeah, I mean, it's just a hedge kind of around there. All right, nice work, Hosk, there. We could be on for something special here. Oh, yeah, actually, you are on a pretty stonking on. score. I need to hold on. You need to hold on. Okay, so 500 points to work with. We get some UAE. We get some Monaco. And what's your third wish? My third wish... Kruger Israel. National Park in... Oh, yeah, Israel. There we Israel. go. Israel. Okay. Israel, baby. Okay. Okay. Let's go for that. Uh, <laughs> not much to say about that round, I think. We can just head through to the next, yeah? Reunion. Reunion. Okay. Reunion. <laughs> All right. Good luck. <laughs> All right. Let's see what happens here. Bit of Indonesia action, I thought. So, black Google card here. Really common in Indonesia. Other countries that have it. Colombia. Uh, I think Mexico has a bit. Malaysia has a bit. Not too many countries have the black generation for. Oh, Australia has it too. Uh, and so, we have fake tiles here on the roofs. That's definitely something you see a lot in Kalimantan. And I don't really see a reason I wouldn't go there, to be honest with you. I think that's going to be my guess here. I don't really... Yeah, it's 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 a bit of a tough round, so I don't really have like a good reason not to. I'm just going to go South Cali here. And it was actually... Ooh, it was Noosa Tengara there. Um, and so, West Noosa's. Um, yeah. Okay, let's talk to Hosk here. What did you think of that one, man? Oh, man. <laughs> I cracked Top it open. I was like, that's not the, that's not the, uh, Reunion. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah. It wasn't, wasn't quite Reunion, that's, that's for sure. Um, so we had a lot of tiled roofs there, but they weren't made of real tiles. They were kind of 2D. So if they were real tiles, where you guessed would be perfect, but... Because they weren't real tiles, it's better to guess outside of Java, generally speaking. Okay. Um, so, yeah. But did you know about that Java tile meta? No, no. I don't know anything about that. So Java is the richest island in, in, in Indonesia. So they okay. tend to have a lot of, like, red or orange or kind of brown tiled roofs made of, like, thick, you know, um, terracotta or whatever it's called, tiles. Whereas yep. the other islands want to look like that, but they don't have the money for proper tiled roofs, generally speaking. So, I mean, you can find them here and there, but if you open up the location, we yeah, can see yep, here yep. that they are kind of like 2D in shape. Like, yeah, yeah I some, of some of them are real. Some of them are real, but some of them are like... And even the ones that are real are very thin. Yeah, yeah, I can see what you're saying. But if you look directly at the house with like the poster that says Indonesia right next to where we spawned, yep, it yep. has the, these red tiles are like barely, like they're so thin. They're made of metal basically, probably. So, yeah, and there's like a see, bunch of houses like that. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Okay, so Java is like, oh yeah, I can yeah, definitely see how that I've gone down the road. Yeah. So Java essentially has like really nice tiles. Yeah, that's right. And actually, I think we have, do have some real tiles here. Uh, oh, but even still, they're, 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 they're quite, they're quite thin still. Yeah. I mean, actually, no, this, this feels like real. So if you, yeah, if you go down the road, you can see some real tiles here, but in Java, like most houses will have them. Even sometimes small structures like little barns and stuff will, will be made of nice tiles. And where we are right now, this is also a region where you can have the real tiles uh, as, like, as like a decent possibility, but there are other regions where, yeah, you're just not going to see them. So yeah, it's, it's actually a pretty strong meta. Um, okay. Like you could see it in like South Sumatra. You could see it out where we just had that one. Bali always has them as well. Uh, but yeah, like Sulawesi, Kalimantan, Northern Sumatra, not going to be too common. Gotcha. Good to know. Good yeah, to know. Yeah, really strong better there. Okay, let's head through the next one. Yeah, thank you. All right. Okay, what are we going to get? Big Oscar's still in the lead. Let's try and, uh, make some nice guesses here. So we're driving right-hand side of the road here with the concrete road. This should be somewhere in Philippines. We have the tricycle with the uneven roof, so that is more indicative of the north. 
I'm just trying to see if I can see anything else that would make us get north here, because I do kind of feel that it is that way, but I can't be sure yet. I don't think we're not going to have time to be sure, unfortunately, so let's just get the map here. I guess like this. Manila, I guess, I think is fine. And it was north there. And yeah, he goes south. Yeah, had a bit of a south vibe, so I don't blame him. Let's see what he thought. What did you think there, Hosk? Wow, definitely got the Philippines, but definitely felt like a more south vibe than a north vibe for some reason. Yeah, this one, this one felt south and... I mean, at least to some extent to me as well. The main reason I was able to go north here is if yeah. you look down the road to the south at the uh, kind of tricycle, the, uh, like the, um, the motorbike with the sidecar there. Uh, south? Yeah, so, so oh, you can see the yeah. compass in the bottom right, yeah. Um, yep, yep, yep. So that one with the uneven roof, see how it's got like two roofs that are quite uneven? Can you make that up? Yes. So, I mean, maybe we can actually head further towards it. Yeah, if you step, actually, if you step just one place further south, you can actually see the track uh, much more easily. So, um, it has the uneven roofs here. That's much more common in the north of Philippines than the south. The south of Philippines oh, tends to have a, 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 a track that is completely one roof only. Like Wow, that speaking. is not better. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite a fun one. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean... Quite simply, like that, like you just you just look for that, and you should be golden. Um, so, so not 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 quite that consistent, but yeah, it's nice. So north north have those like as in like up near Manila and stuff. Yeah, they have um, uneven. Yeah, uneven tracks. roofs. Yeah, crazy. Okay. And then the uh, the south will have the south is actually more of a combination, but it is most common to see a single roof, all in one kind of buggy so yeah that's that uh, i feel like i feel like some of like the poles almost gave me a north vibe as well but that's kind of more just vibes i think i don't yeah okay uh the, like but then again there was like a bit of architecture that kind of looked like indonesia so I, I also wanted to click south because of that but yeah ultimately had to trust the track there you feel me you trust the track sometimes you yeah. just gonna go for it that's a fact bro that's a fact all right let's head through the next shall we all right let's do it okay so then I'm back in the lead, which I like. And the last one here, we have some Puente Arimen. And we should be somewhere in Ecuador or Colombia here. So just peeking through here, we can see the Colombian car. So this is something you maybe you need to play a few times to realize, but the Colombian car often has the black Google car with the short antenna. That's only in Colombia. And you can just make it out here. And these two splodges of, of slight darkness means it has to be Colombia. Now I'm wondering where is it, north or south? I think it's slightly more of a north vibe, but I could also see it east of Andes here, like in this region here. Ah, yeah. That's where I would have clicked if not, but yeah, tough round. Okay. Uh, yeah, we making the same guess there. Um, yeah, yeah. Did you make line. out the Google car on that round, by the way? Did I make out the Google car? Uh, nah, I just saw the Colombian flag on the sign. Right, so if you, if you click in here, this is a nice way to confirm that it wouldn't be Ecuador. Um, okay. We have the black Google car with a short antenna. Yeah. That one is only found in Colombia ever. Okay. Oh, really? Hundred percent consistent. Short black car, wow, short, okay. stubby antenna. Every all, all the other countries that have the equivalent one have white car instead. So, or okay, like C C C C Colombia has both. But yeah, the black car is really nice for getting Colombia. Mm, okay, that's a good meta. Thank you. Definitely, definitely. Uh, as for the round itself, like, yeah, I, I called that it should either be where I clicked or where it was. And honestly, it's pretty easy for where it was. I, I feel like the, the vegetation just feels a bit Brazilian. There is a red tinge to the soil, so... Mm. Yeah, yeah, it kind of okay. just feels like North Brazil. I think this is not a particularly difficult round I should be getting it, but... Yeah, um, but still, got the country. You know, can't complain too much. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, should we go for one more seed now? Let's do, yeah, let's do one more attempt. One more attempt. I'm feeling good. Yeah, I mean, it's only up from here, right? And actually, you, 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 right. Almost, you almost had me on that, dude, for sure. So, yeah, let's yeah go true. It. Watch out, mate. Yeah, uh, true, Big Hosk, true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. So, we have Big Hosk's request here. This is Israel. Immediately just loading in with a European vibe that's Mediterranean-ish. Plus a yellow plate. 100% Israel. Icing on the cake is uh, these yellow and white, uh, black and white and red curbs. And yeah, this should be Tel Aviv. It feels like a modern city to me. It doesn't quite feel 
I mean, it could be Haifa as well, but it doesn't quite feel like Jerusalem, so I'm just going to go downtown Tel Aviv, out in the suburbs here like that, and indeed it was. So, oh no, he goes Jerusalem. Okay, Hosk, this is uh, this is the start you asked for. Still a good this score. This is the start. This is the start. Still a good score. So that one, everything just felt a bit modern. In okay. Jerusalem, you're going to have less tall apartment buildings because it's such an ancient yep. city. You're also going to see like everything made of like kind of like a white stone, I feel. Click around there a little bit if you want to see. Yeah, um, I think yeah. general, I think normally you do see yellow number plates in Jerusalem, though it might be a bit of a mix. If you're a bit further north in Ramallah, for example, they normally use white plates, so that's a good thing okay. better. But because um, it's in Palestine, of course. But yeah, I mean, so yeah, basically, I would say as for this one, just the more modern city vibes slightly. Go Tel Aviv over Jerusalem, basically. Good to know. I went, I went Jerusalem just because I felt like we were a bit hilly. I didn't know if mm. Tel Aviv would be as hilly as I know, like, Jerusalem is. So I, I've, made, I've made that mistake before because, like, yeah, Tel Aviv is typically more flat. And yeah, so I was also yeah. thinking the same thing even in that round. But I just knew because it felt a bit more modern, a bit more, you know, new, newer buildings than should be Tel Aviv. All right, well, that's good to know. All right. Yeah, yeah. all right. Let's head through yeah, the next. So we're still on. We're still on here. Yeah, let's see. So it's a really nice start. And we're going to have some Denmark here, which is definitely a country we can... Uh, pick up good points on. So let's see, what's the vibe here? So as for Denmark, ooh, these buildings are yeah, super Danish with this German type of triangle roof like that. See that in Germany, yeah, some parts of France, some parts of uh, Czechia as well, Hungary. Uh, but yeah, this one feels like, I think this could just be Copenhagen, honestly. It feels very flat and quite like just a suburb. So I would say maybe Odense, Copenhagen, I think I marginally prefer Copenhagen here. So let's see here. Oh, and it was all the way on the German border. That kind of makes sense there. So Hosk moves into lead. Yeah, just a, just a Danish town, huh? I don't think there's too much to say there. Far out, though. We could be on air. Yeah, true. You're on a you're on a good score, and still it's possible for me as well. Um, yeah. All right, let's head through to the next. All right, let's do it. Okay, so here we have some... Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> so here we have some... Good old Japan. We have these southern uh, weeds that I was talking about earlier in the video, so I'm thinking of going there. What about this pole top? It's cut off. Interesting. Uh, is that ocean? Maybe. To our east. That would be interesting. Um, yeah, we have nothing here, so I would say that I would go in Kyushu, marking that south meta. Uh, something like this could certainly work. Uh, let's just go for it. I'm trusting the Kyushu weed. And it wasn't this time. Oh, Ooh. baby. Oh, baby. Okay, he's on. He's on, my boy. Dude, nice I guess. I your meta about that, like, that grass stuff. Yeah, I mean, I was using it too, but I was using it to go too far south there. <laughs> Far out. This could be it. I think uh, also we had the yellow stripes on the uh, guardrail post there. Um, I think you're right, yeah. That is honestly probably more common where you click than when I, where I clicked. Though I can't exactly remember how it goes, because it's quite spread around the country for certain regions. But... Nice guess, Oscar. Okay, let's see. Thank this you, you could, you. you could, you could fulfill it here. Let's get another school country. Can you imagine right? getting it live on camera right now? I'm calling it Iceland next. I'm calling it Iceland. Okay, I need that. I need that. Kind of bit of Reykjavik. Call. Bit of Reykjavik action. Let's oh, go. Oh please. All right, I'll see it. Okay, no Iceland on this occasion. That's okay though. And I think it's going to be Indonesia here again. Black car. Although I think it's actually no. This is Bodega. Okay, this should be somewhere in. What's well, Peru with the yellow plates? Oh, it's going to be difficult for him to get. I think. Um, so it's, it's vaguely hilly here. We don't have any tricycles. Oh, we do have tricycles. So maybe this is further north. Oh, but yeah, Peru has like, the, the yellow number plates are not quite so orange. They're more like a pure yellow. Um, and then they're a bit like, yeah, it's a bit more of a mix. I think you have to go north here, honestly, like around Jane or something like that here. We'll see about that though. Oh, and it was middle there. No. Kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's a good learning round right there. So, oh. yeah, I'm sorry. No, that's okay, that's okay. So, basically, the Peruvian yellow number plates are on trucks a lot of the time, or government vehicles or whatever. Yeah, and, run me through that, because I saw yellow and I just thought, oh, yeah, Colombia, rock and roll. Yeah, so, they are slightly less orange. The The Colombian ones are more of, like, an orangey yellow. The yeah, Peruvian yeah, ones okay. are more of, like, a New South Wales plate color yellow. Um... They basically look the exact same. So it, it, yeah, once you've I seen can, it a few I times, can you can easily distinguish it. Um, yep, yep. And we also had like a tricycle. Did you see that kind of tricycle? Um, yeah, yeah, off to the yeah. left. Yeah. 
So th those ones are really common in the north of Peru. That's where I went north, but they're all over the Amazon. So... Oh, okay. Yeah. Isn't that like the, the blue looking thing? Like yeah, that blue, that blue looking thing, yeah. Yeah, next to the gopher truck. It's like a... <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Let me let me pull it up for the viewers again. So this one here. Yeah, so <laughs> next to the gopher truck is... <laughs> um, yeah, that's so those ones are really common. I, I honestly shouldn't have gone... I should have... I, I only should have gone north if I saw more of them, to be honest. Um, okay. But yeah, they're really common up there. Um, and yeah, I, I would say like just this rolling hills without two big mountains. I feel like where it was, that really makes sense to me. Yeah, okay. And it was black Google car here as well, which is interesting. Is that, can that be in Colombia? Yeah, it can be. And, and Colombia yeah. Google car almost always has the brake light showing, or a lot of the time has the brake light showing of the car as well. So that's something useful to keep in mind. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's about it, though, for that round. Like, it's... Oh, also, the, the pole top is Peruvian. Um, if you look at the one north, I think it was. Yeah. You see how it's got these, like, uh, three, four, like, uh, things jutting out yeah, the same yeah, way? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. three of them is what's typically known as Colombian. But I guess you can have four as well as this one it shows. But, yeah. If you have three pointing in the same direction, it's Colombia. I mean, uh, Peru. And if you have them pointing different directions, that's often in Argentina like alternating so like one's yeah. on the left one's on the right one's on that's the left right. that's right gotcha okay three so the same three, direction, three always on peru. the same three in the same direction always peru and you said there's sometimes in colombia or did i miss you no sorry sorry argentina oh gotcha okay argentina's okay. got so, the alternating and then never in colombia i misspoke right right yeah. okay so yeah peru peru yeah. pole topper yeah yeah that's right that's a good little one okay I'll and try and, right and if you point yourself east here down the kind of dirt road yep yeah very Top of the other pole also is Peruvian, and can you see how the very top of it looks like almost like a pencil? Yeah, yeah only yeah. In, I think it's only in Peru this uh, this pole top specifically, and it's on most poles, so pretty useful. Yeah, yeah, I can see it's the one. It's also on the one to the north. Yeah, with pencil tops. Yeah. Yeah, good to know. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah. All right, let's head through to the next. Okay, so go slightly lead over Hosk here. Want to uh, get the three zero for my uh, for my ego's sake on this last round here? Looking, I thought immediately it was going to be zero in Finland, but it looks like we actually have North American number plate here with a short plate. Green back of the sign would make one think two or four, so it's not. Wait, First Nations? Yeah, this is the this is actually British Columbia. I didn't think two or four was British Columbian, but. Maximum 30 has to be Canadian and then green back of the sign you should be I feel like clicking Canada here So we'll see what this actually is. Okay. It was BC. So is that like a mobile phone code? I thought it was 250 in BC and then one other but I didn't think it was that so yeah Yikes Yes, yeah, so that was a fairly <laughs> difficult round there with one big meta for giving away the place. So okay. Okay Let's jump in here Got um, the Canada. The Canada, Canada. was fairly explanatory. You've got the Unsealed road, the kilometers an hour, only in Canada. Yeah. Um, got like the timber poles, birches. Checks out. Yeah, definitely. And what I would say is there are two things here that can give away the province, I would say. So number one, if you look uh, to the west here where the car, where the white car was, you can see this green back of the signs here. Yeah, yep, yep. I can only, see that. Only, I would say like 90 something percent of the time in British Columbia. So that's just a simple, nice meta there. Wow. Okay. So 99% of the time, British Columbia, those green backs. Yeah. And then if you look at the pole, can you see the transformer, the uh, thing above the light post? Yes. That is facing towards the road, which you tend to only see in <laughs> New Brunswick and British Columbia. That is some, nah, some meta. <laughs> yeah. No, that's some meta right there. That's <laughs> <laughs> And then I guess, you know, with the hilly kind of, uh, yeah, we see like a pretty big mountain there to our north. So should just yeah. click in BC over the, over New Brunswick here. So, yeah. I just saw lake and I thought lakes like. Yeah, yeah. true, true. Great lakes. Yeah. Was I it, that. Yeah, it was a bit, um, it was a bit silly. Oh, and it's not a phone code. I was like, 204 is not British Columbia, but it's actually just the houses. So it's like a, it's like a, a indigenous, um, kind of, uh reservation or something so yeah mm -hmm. that makes sense okay that's why i was so confused about that but i'm glad i managed to still click the right spot and so concludes the seed there so 
GG's awesome. to Hosk. Uh, we had some. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly, if you combined your five best guesses from the, that game, I think it would have been a 24k or near nearly. Yeah, there. easily. So easily. All you need to do yeah. is like just really get that green seed going, and you know, yeah, you. absolutely. All right, thanks for the coaching. You're welcome, guys. Thank you. Let me know if you enjoyed this one. Shout out Big Hosk in the comments right now. And Shout them out. Yeah, I feel like that's it. I feel like that's all we need to say. So, Big Hosk, any awesome. message to the people? As we head out, smash like, smash subscribe. Awesome. <laughs> and don't forget, Transformers Facing the Road, British Columbia or New Brunswick. Or, or, and they'll only understand this later on, but Podgorica as well. Sometimes you see Transformers <laughs> Facing the Road. <laughs> All right, you'll, you'll understand that when the other video comes out. But uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> that was good. Yeah, thank uh, you. Optimus yeah. Prime, maybe. All right, gotcha. Thanks for watching, guys.